We're in the heat of the day, boys and girls. We're going to do a little taste test. It's the second rendition. We have a Bone Stock 372 XP. We're going to run it against the standard Insano version CS2166 from Johnson Red. Now, in the first taste test, we also had a 24 inch bar. We were also sawing on this log right here. And the Husqvarna, which is rated at 5.4 horsepower, Stomp the John Sered into the dirt, which is rated at 4.8, so it's giving up essentially uh, six tenths of a horsepower. Now, the air cleaner systems are a little bit different on these saws. Carburetors are the same as far as I can tell. The cylinder assemblies are very similar in bore size anyway. They both have a 50 millimeter bore and a 36 millimeter stroke. Mufflers are the same. Uh, where the problem lies is the air cleaner systems are different in design. It's much more restricted in the Johnson Red than in the Husqvarna. Um, you can see the high top air filter system. They do make a low profile version for those. Um, it's similar. It's actually the same filter um, as what we have in the Johnson Red at this point. So. The other part of the equation is the caps over the transfer ports in the Johnson Red version cylinder assembly have some guides in them that restrict the amount of airflow. So we look at two cases where the restrictions are the same. As far as I can tell, the cases are the same except they're a different color. The cylinders bolt right on there. Um, airflow restriction and we're down six tenths of a horsepower. Now we insanoize this like I mentioned and we're going to do the second rendition of the saw off and see what kind of gains we actually get even though the Johnson Red is down six tenths of a horsepower when we talk about both of them being stock. So um, we ran a 24 inch bar last time. We had a different chain actually. I put a full comp steel chain on this time. Second sharpening operation in that chain so we're still working that out. Haven't taken anything off the stops because the stock saw seems to like it best there. Um, and the reason I'm doing the still full comp chain is because it uh, has a wider tooth, so it cuts a wider curve, so there's more drag, parasitic drag, if you will, and that robs more horsepower. So we're kind of trying to get a little bit more drag since we're only running a 24-inch bar. I'm going to have my son, Action J, help me with the tack this time. And we're going to do an upper buck on the thing from underneath. In one of the test cuts, we'll run a couple. He'll check the tack, and then we'll see how everything works out. Bar change in the middle in case you need to hit the fridge as well. So here we go.
little under the threshold where the rev limiter is kicking off so we haven't done any work to this saw really and I think that's probably a good place to keep it since the John Surrett has a new piston I don't really want to go any higher than that right there So we lost about 3,000 RPMs in the process. You, you really need to hold it like this. Okay. And you really need to have it right there. Okay. The spark plug is like right underneath this part of this. This is the air cleaner cover right here, right? So it's right underneath that part right there. And so the arrow, right, tells you what you need to do. So you put that right there. Hold it with your two fingers right there like that and you'll be good. Okay. Ready? Yep. What's the number? Well, you can say it. You can nine nine six up. Well, the mic's right there. You speak into the mic. Nine nine six up. About right here seems to be good. So, we're down a little bit when we're actually able to apply some force. I was kind of trying to let it feed on the way down. That's just the way I like my chains to cut. Let the chain do the work. So, anyway, we're now we're at intermission time while we do the bar change. Time to hit the fridge. And we will check out the got flow operation. We have a little bit more air coming into this operation now, which I think that's going to help the process a little bit.
9,320. So you only need to have it there like this much time. There and there. Try to catch it about in the middle. Okay. When the bar is about right there, okay? We're getting into the knots pretty good. So we're getting acclimated to how to operate the tack, I was noticing. And so thanks to Action J for helping out here. And we can see that we had no knot for the first few cuts on the Husqvarna. Then we started getting into the knot with the Johnson Red. And now we took a couple cuts in the knot. Well, both of them actually with the Johnson Red. So. I can tell it pulls harder in the wood just from running the thing. Definitely sounds a little bit different. Um, still blubbering pretty good, I noticed too. Um, that thing probably needs another thousand RPMs or something before it comes onto the quote unquote pipe and really starts to motate. So, so far I'm well pleased. We're down on air filter. Um, we basically took care of the transfer port situation, however and tuned it up a little bit so hopefully the owner will be well pleased when we send it back to the east coast so anyway thanks for watching this session have a blessed day wherever you might be on god's green earth